Welcome, friends. I'm Kalani, and your host here for the Music Mindfulness offering, um, courtesy of Kalani Music and World Drum Club. Thanks for being here Sunday morning. I hope you're all doing well. I want to dedicate today's um, service to the people of Ukraine and um, and everyone who uh, is suffering right now and who wishes to end that suffering. Let's keep them in our thoughts. Today's theme is God consciousness, and it comes at a great time because God consciousness is about universality. It's about recognizing the oneness, uh, the goodness, the, the one love that is uh, at the foundation of spirituality, uh, of peace, kindness, what we think of when we say, uh, when we use the word humanity, it's at the root of all those things. And in terms of music and mindfulness, God consciousness is about recognizing that we are all the universe. We're not in the universe. We are the universe. Everything is the universe, including you and me and everything else that we experience in the manifested world um, as a result of what's happening perhaps in the unmanifested world, as some people call it. So God consciousness, um, it's that moment when you feel connected to everything and you realize that you are, you are everything. You're part of everything and everything is part of you. Uh, Today, I have a reading from the Radiant Sutras, which I recommend. The Radiant Sutras by uh, Lauren Roche, a colleague. So I'm going to read that for you right now. We'll go to the, the beautiful artwork by Cameron Gray as I read this to you. Immerse yourself in the rapture of music. You know what you love. Go there. Tend to each note, each chord, rising up from the silence and dissolving again. Vibrating strings draw us into the spacious resonance of the heart. The body becomes light as the sky, and you, one with the great musician, who is even now singing us into existence.
right. How are you guys doing? If you have any suggestions for how you demonstrate and embody um, what you could call God consciousness, leave them in the comments so that we can all benefit and we can all share. Because the more we share, the more we have, right? And that's the idea of this um, music mindfulness time that we have together. Uh, is sharing and helping each other and exchanging good ideas. Because a good idea is a good idea. It doesn't matter where it comes from. It could come from me. It could come from you. It could come from your grandparent, your child, your or your dog, <laughs> or your pet. It doesn't matter. And... Um, I recently, I'm going to give you a little anecdote. I recently had a message uh, from a Facebook friend of mine who was frustrated with what he perceived of as, you know, a system, the system of helping through, in this case, it was religious organization or religious uh, system construct, uh, one of many out there. He was frustrated because he felt a little stifled by the requirements of the system and wasn't a good fit for him and he felt really discouraged. And my message to him and my message to you is that you don't need anybody's permission. You don't need a certification to share good ideas with people and to try to help people. So if you feel inadequate in some way, like you don't have a, a title or you don't have uh, the biggest platform or... You know, you don't feel like you belong to the to the right organization. Um, I would recommend that you just do what you want to do. Uh, start somewhere, share your ideas, um, and as long as your ideas are useful and you're doing it with a sense of kindness and um, intention to help, and you know, you're you can remain fairly non-judgmental. <laughs> Um, I think that's great. I think you should do it. Um, I look at it this way. You know, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with formalized help uh, in terms of religions or spiritual practices or, you know, centers for this and organizations for that. Nothing wrong with that. But there's also nothing wrong with individuals sharing their own ideas on any platform to whoever, however many people, it could be one person. It could be no per no people. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, that's what I do. And it's my way of just trying to help. So if you want to be helpful um, and, and honor the God consciousness that is permeating everything, it, however you want to do that, as, as long as it's done with love and kindness and good intention and you're not, you know, infringing on anyone else's right to also help in their own way, then I vote for that. And I would encourage you to do it. You don't need anyone's permission. Uh, you don't need certificates or titles. You can get those if you want. But you don't need them. So if you have something good to share... Don't hold it back uh, because we need more sharing. We need more good ideas. So I welcome them. I welcome them from you, from other people, uh, wherever, whoever it is, wherever, you know, anybody is welcome to share a good idea. And I think we could listen to anyone. A four-year-old can have just as good and often do, they often do have excellent suggestions uh, for how to be or how to treat one another, how to treat yourself. Um, so, well, I welcome it all. Do you feel welcome? <laughs> <laughs> all right, my friends. So today's reading, again, was from the Radiant Sutras. Uh, Lauren Roche, I recommend it. It's a translation of um, some sacred texts from Sanskrit. Beautiful little book. There's a little... There's a little book. This is a little paperback book. There's also, uh, I believe, a hard, hardcover or a larger version of it. Um, but it looks like this. And um, it's a nice little book. 
you can find lots of nice readings. I'll continue to incorporate that into the music mindfulness because it does relate uh, in a lot of ways to what we do here. All right, I'm going to go back and make some more music for you and send you off on your way. I uh, hope you have a wonderful week. And uh, like I said, I'm keeping the people of Ukraine and, and anybody who cares and is related to that situation and wants it to end as soon as possible and return to peace and prosperity for everyone. Um, I'll keep you in my thoughts. Thanks for being here today. And if you'd like to know more about the instruments I'm using, uh, any of the instruments, you can meet me at patreon.com slash Kalani. Ask me questions over there. Uh, there's lots of lessons, courses. You can go check it out. Patreon.com slash Kalani. Thanks for being here on World Drum Club for this music mindfulness um, offering. Have a beautiful day.